Hey y'all, happy Wednesday. Welcome back. We're still in Psalm 1 talking about submissive and inactive in the path where sinners walk and what that means to us as believers. Throw out there again that um, next Tuesday night, so next week, first Tuesday night of the month, 7.30, is our Women in the Word meeting. That's the local meeting um, to the Dunn-ish Fayetteville area. And um, if you're interested in coming, send me a message, email me, and I'm happy to give you the address. Would love to have you join us. It's just an intimate time of fellowship with other women digging into the Word. 7.30, it's usually about an hour, 7.30 to 8.30. Would love to see you there. Okay. Moving back in, picking back up where we left off yesterday. Um, we we're talking about salt changing the flavor of our food, having an effect on our food in the same way that you and I as believers should have an effect on those around us. That we should never be submissive or inactive in the path where sinners walk, which we'll talk about that in a little bit. So, I'm going again to the bottom of page or day four in the Psalm 1 book. And it says that your purpose is to be flavor. You are you're called to be flavor. Um, this life as a follower of Jesus isn't one that we change like our clothes. One day we love him and the next day we discount him completely. It doesn't work like that. And we just read about the salt that once it loses its flavor, how can it be restored? The salt can't be made salty again. <laughs> the flavor can't be restored, which I am very thankful that because of grace, you and I can be forgiven and we can be restored back into the family of God. But there is, it takes real commitment and it's real change. It's not just, oh, today I'm going to do it tomorrow. I may not like a yo-yo diet. Okay. It's not like a, I'll just change my mind. When you really see Jesus, when you, when, when all of the scales fall off and we see his love, you won't ever want to lose your salt again. There's nothing in the world that is more fulfilling, more validating, more beautiful, more precious, more um, craving, I mean, satisfying, nothing more than seeing Jesus. Oh, let's get back here. I could get sidetracked quite easily. So, um, it's not like we change our clothes. One day we love him and the next day we don't even think about him. We're just kind of completely. So Galatians 5, 17 says, for the desires of the flesh, so that would be our human nature without God, to the desires of our flesh are opposed to the Holy Spirit. And the desires of the Holy Spirit are opposed to the flesh, the godless human nature. For these are antagonistic to each other, continually withstanding and in conflict with each other. The message translation of this says that the two ways of life are antithetical, so that you cannot live at times one way and at times another way according to how you feel on any given day. That's a mouthful. Let me read it again. It's from the message translations. If you would like to look that up for yourself, we are in Galatians 5, 17 in the message translation. I'm going to read it again. Antithetical. I was going to say, make sure I read that word correctly. <laughs> These two ways of life are antithetical so that you cannot live at times one way and at times another way according to how you feel on any given day. See, that is, I, I love that it brings our feelings into play because our relationship with Jesus is not based on feelings. It's not based on passionate cravings and desires of our flesh, satisfying emotions. That is not relationship with Jesus. A relationship with Jesus is recognizing, realizing, understanding, comprehending, knowing his love for us and the depth, height, breadth um, that it is. You know, Paul talks about that in the New Testament. So this way of life, living as salt, when we choose to be salt, when we choose to be life, um, it's not based on feeling. It's not based on emotion. It is because we believe that Jesus is who he says he is and that he 
um, came to redeem us, right? Our choice of being salt and light is not fickle. It doesn't change with the wind or change on any given day because it's not based on emotions and feelings which change constantly and are affected by outside forces. Our relationship with Jesus and our choosing Him and choosing to be salt and light is based on us realizing who He is. We'll pick up here again tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye, y'all.